Step two is containment. This is like a band-aid or a plaster. It's to stop the bleeding. The idea here is to protect the customer, whether that's internally or externally, and buy time for solving problems correctly and not jump into solutions without understanding the root cause. Containment is a temporary fix as it can cost money and ultimately waste as it usually involves adding unnecessary work activities. Containment actions need to be done fast and immediately though, and then standardised to prevent further issues or flow out to the customer. We can use this also as an opportunity to capture data about the problem that we might not have today. But you need to ensure that you use the why, what, where, when, who and how and how much to develop robust containment actions. You will also need to check and confirm that the containment is actually working correctly as we are just jumping to actions. Remove the containment once uh, effective countermeasures from step six are in place though. Remember, the key point of containment is to stop the problem flowing out to the customer immediately and also help with pressure on management to solve the problem. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest lean content.